Hello guys, today I want to talk about Laravel 11. It's not out yet, but it's due soon in roughly February 2024. If we open that official documentation for releases, their support policy and Laravel is currently releasing one major version per year, usually in February. So we should expect Laravel 11 sometime in February. And we can start preparing for the upcoming changes. So in this video, I will try to talk about the most important things we see right now before the release, what we know so far, and what do we need to kind of mentally prepare for. And in this case, Laravel 11 introduces quite a big change in terms of how new projects will look like. The first change, you probably see that already on the screen if you haven't noticed, PHP version. Laravel 11 will drop the support for PHP 8.1 and it was decided a long time ago in January 23, here's the pull request to drop 8.1 support. And if you're not familiar with PHP version releases, here's the official table from PHP website. 8.1 is already only on security support. So ideally you should be working on 8.2 or recent 8.3. So Laravel isn't restricting that, it's just following the trends and the policies of PHP versions themselves. And now let's review the changes for the skeleton in Laravel. Skeleton won't be the only change in Laravel 11, but this is probably the most important one. So if you go Laravel new with Laravel 11, the default project would look quite a bit differently from Laravel 10. And you can actually try it out yourself with Laravel installer. You can do Laravel new project name dash dash dev, and it would automatically install the current Laravel 11 dev version. That said, it's still dev, so there may be more changes, there's still time, so this video is not like the final version of Laravel 11. This is what we know so far. And Taylor started tweeting about it and talking about it pretty early in June. Here's the pull request on Slim Skeleton, so it's not like breaking news or anything. In fact, in general, it's open source, so you can follow the journey of new Laravel versions pretty openly on GitHub. And when introducing that Slim Skeleton, Taylor emphasized at least a few times that this is not a breaking change. So I envision that this change will get some pushback from the community, but this will not break any existing Laravel projects. This change is just for new Laravel 11 projects. Now let's get into those changes after all that intro. First, there are no configuration files by default. So here's the structure that I've just installed on Laravel 11, and if you go to config, it's empty. There's no config app, there's no config auth, none of that. It's all publishable now. So if we do want to configure something, there's artisan command now, config publish. Which configuration file you want to publish, for example, app? Okay, now we have config app. And this is just one example. What Taylor was trying to slim down is the skeleton. So by default, things are internally in Laravel, unless you specifically want to publish them and change it. Config is just one example. And also I may misunderstand something because there's no official documentation. This is just me scratching the surface trying to understand and navigate the new structure. So config is publishable, that's one. Another thing, there's no Laravel Sanctum and no Routes API by default. There's only Routes Web. If you are working with API projects, then you can do PHP Artisan install API like this. Then it installs Sanctum, and then we also have our new Routes API file. The next thing is app HTTP folder, which is kind of empty. So there's no app HTTP kernel, there's no middleware folder. Where's that all gone? That's the first thought. Also, there's no app console kernel. So app folder was slimmed down almost as much as possible. And all of that became kind of internal functionality, which you can configure in one file, which was pretty insignificant until now. Now it becomes very important, which is bootstrap app.php. This is kind of a global configuration for a lot of things now. So you configure application with providers, with routing. So this is where you configure your routing files if you need more of them. And here you configure with middleware. Here you configure the exception, which is also not in the app folder anymore. And it kind of reminds me of Filament, which has admin panel provider with chained configuration like this. So enable this, enable that, with this, with that, and there's one chain of configuration. I will not talk in this video in detail about the syntax of all of that, it's just the overview. But actually, just today I saw an article, great article by Grant, exploring middleware in Laravel 11, 
where he explains some of those changes in detail. So I will link that article in the description below. And I guess these are the main changes that I wanted to emphasize in this video as an overview for now. So you would be kind of prepared for a more slim version of app folder in Laravel 11, but I will link both PRs in the description below. There's PR for Laravel framework, and it talks about configuration and some middlewares and where they lie down in Laravel 11 or how they are changed. Also events and notifications, artisan commands, but I would consider those kind of small changes, but there are a lot of them. So you should read through those, install API, as I mentioned. So this is in Laravel framework. And there's also kind of a mirror change in Laravel Laravel in the skeleton itself. So HTTP kernel removed in favor of bootstrap app and other things also related to bootstrap app, config publish, And also, as always, when I'm talking about changes in open source project, I advise to browse files changed, which will give you more information than any official documentation. So, for example, there are more variables now in .env, like time zone, like locale, and others. Or, for example, queue is database by default. Those deleted files, so you can browse around and see what's changed. What do you think about those changes? Will you quickly get used to those Laravel 11 projects structure? I'm pretty sure there will be enough material for me to talk about in February. So we will go through those step by step and I will reshoot quite a lot of tutorials on Laravel Daily.com, also text-based courses, course for beginners, and a lot of that stuff will need to be updated. But the goal is to make the default skeleton slimmer and configurable kind of in one place. At least that's how I understand the main message. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to get videos about all the news about Laravel and see you guys in those other videos.